In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for CuOH2 plus HCl, copper 2 hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. The first thing we do when we balance net ionic equations, we write the balanced molecular equation. So the balanced molecular equation here looks like we could put a 2 here to balance the chlorines. Those are balanced. We have 2 plus 2, so we need to put a 2 here. This is the molecular equation, so this is a balanced equation then we need to write the state. Whenever I see hydroxides, I'm a little suspicious, especially with a transition metal. So I want to check and see what the state of this would be in a solubility table. So we pull our solubility table in, and here's copper right here, and the hydroxide. So we'll go over here and down. And that I, that means it's insoluble. It's not going to dissolve. It's not going to dissociate into its ions. So we're going to put an S here. This is solid. So we have the state for this. Hydrochloric acid, that's usually going to be aqueous. Copper to chloride. Chlorides are very soluble. We could check too. Here's copper and here's a chloride, S. That's soluble, so it'll dissolve in water, aqueous. And water, that's a liquid. Let's put a little L after that. All right, so we know our states. Our equation's balanced. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. We can't split this up. That's because it's a solid, so it's going to stay together. Aqueous compounds we can, however. So if we looked on the periodic table, let's pull that in, we could see that hydrogen, that's in group 1. That'll have a positive charge. Chlorine, over here, has a negative charge. On this side here, we don't know what the charge on the copper is. It's a transition metal, but we have these two chlorines, and each one's a 1 minus. That means for this to be a neutral compound, we'd have to have a 2 plus. So it would be a 2 plus here. Water, we don't worry about. That's a liquid. So really, the only two compounds we're concerned with right now are these two here. So let's split them up into their ions, the things that are electrolytes that dissolve. So the CuOH2, the copper 2 hydroxide, that's a solid. It won't split apart. It's not a strong electrolyte. It won't dissolve. OH2, and I'll write the states at the end. I won't do that right now. Plus. We have H plus here, and we have two of them. So we put our two in front of there. Plus, we have Cl minus. And this two, it applies to the whole molecule. Put a two here, and that's going to give us Cu2 plus plus Cl minus. In this subscript, that means we have two of them, and we need to put a coefficient of two. Plus, we have our two water molecules there. So this is the complete ionic equation. We can now cross out these spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of the equation. So the only thing I see is I have a 2Cl here in the reactants, 2Cl minus here in the product. So these are the same. Let's cross them out. Everything else is different. So at this point, we have the net ionic equation. That looks like this. We should also write the states in after each one of these now. And this is the net ionic equation for CuOH2 plus HCl, copper 2 hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.